All right, I am ready to try my first flask. Um, and I picked this one because uh, Pinto decided to bite at the tag on this and he managed to pop the cork out so it's not sterile inside anymore. And so I figure I only have a limited amount of time before it becomes like infected uh, because it's basically no longer sterile. Uh, I have my tools here. I have a container of water. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. Pinto, are you coming to join me? Pinto, this really doesn't need you. Note that water's not for you to drink. That's for washing orchids. <laughs> Pinto ate me. I know, you're participating. You need some room to sit? How about we have some room to sit? How about you sit down? Pinto. Come sit over here. Sit over here. You guys can't see anything. There's a big Pinto button away. Come on, Pinto. Ooh, plastic. Ooh, yeah. All right. There, there. The plastic's for you. You can have the plastic. All right. Here's the cork. Gonna take out the cork. Um, no, I'm gonna have a Pinto. Pinto. <laughs> this is gonna be hard enough as it is without without you. All right. Here. Okay. Take out the cork. Oh. Completely. P Pinto, all right, you want to sniff it? Pinto, you want to sniff it? You want to, oh, you want to bump it. You're gonna, you're gonna bump it. Here, Pinto, can you, can you like sit someplace? Over here, go over there, go over there. Over there, yes, right, oh, oh, all right, sit down, sit down, sit down, man. Sit down. Here. No, 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 not in the middle. Sit down. Sit down over here. <sighs> All right. Well, we'll just try to do this with Pinto here. Um, first tool. This is, makes it all that much more um, exciting, don't we? So the idea here is, you know, Pinto, you don't need, you don't need to snuffle it idea is to try to hook it out. Pinto, come here. Come here, come here. Pinto, come here. Pin, no, don't lay down. Oh, all right. All right. Keep Pinto from knocking the camera. Are you going to snuffle it? Or just, or just, no, don't. All right. Just pull, the idea here is to get the hook in here and then use it to pull the agar out towards you. I don't know how well this is going to work. The agar is just breaking up. Pinto, are you like hanging out under my arm? Don't want to rip out the roots. Ah, Pinto! Pinto, all right, don't, no, don't, here, come over here. Ah. Okay, here's one. I hope I am not damaging this with this little hook thing. We'll put this in the water. Uh, yay, first plant. Second plant. Don't eat the plants, Pinto. Yes. 
a 90 degree hook works like this hole work a lot better than a spatula. I will link my first time I did this with a Carmela's flask and I didn't have a hook and how difficult it was to get the little plantlets out of the jar. They're just coming right out. Whoop, plant, agar. I can sit down now. Come, little plants. See, I'm just I'm just teasing them out with the hook like this. Whoop, there it goes. Whoop, there they come. All right. Oh, so many little plants. This wasn't that hard. I didn't have to smash the glass. I mean, who knows what shape they're coming out in? But hey, they're coming right out. And, you know, Pinto, you were upstairs. I knew you were upstairs before I started this. Did you just hear the glass? Did you hear the crinkle? Did you hear me sit down? Oh, this one's really big. It's not coming out. It's like, no, not for you. Let's get the little plants. There's a bunch of little plants that can come out. Little plants. Little plants. Get all that agar out. Agar. Well, that's my dog doing her guard dog duties, protecting us from people walking down the sidewalk. All right. You you still watching, Pinto? You're determined? You're determined to watch the end here? Oh my god, this one is not coming out. So this one is, this one's really big and it's kind of stuck in the mouth. You want to help? You want to help? Give uh, me my hand. Hand, hand pull. There we go. There we go. My one last little green guy right there. Come on. There we go. The jar is empty. Well, the flask is empty. There we go. Oh, that wasn't so bad. I think that was a great practice fishing expedition. All right. So now we have, I wonder if I should make a second little container of water to put these after I wash them. Let's have a little overhead shot of. This is what the jar lo container looks like. Alright. Pinto. Alright. Pinto. Pinto. -y. Pinto. Problem with taking them out now is that Pinto is probably <laughs> Pinto. Stop hitting the phone. Let's 
It was like, oh, look, he's going to say, food for me. Pinto, how many times are you going to knock it over? Pinto, oh. Stop it. Stop it. Pinto. All right, Pinto and I just had a very long combat over how many times he was going to knock over the phone. Pinto won. We took a break. We took a break so that he would stop knocking over the phone. Don't bite my nose. So behind here, what you can't see is I have some containers with perlite and I am going to put some of these little flask guys in the containers and I'm going to pack them in with moss on top. And I wanted to use ProMix in these containers, but this is a Vanda and I think they need to have more um, drainage because you know, normally you grow Vandas without any media. And so I am gonna try it. Um, well, not the biggest one, like these big, this really big one, I'm probably gonna put in a, like a plug tray. So, all right. So I would like to pick off some of these dead little leaves. Can I do that without killing this? I'll be snipping this. Pinto's not helping. He's bumping my elbow. Okay. Yeah, I know the perlite's dusty. You're gonna sneeze. All right. So let's. So these really small ones that look like this, I am gonna put in these community pots. I have to clean them up a little bit. Pinto, what? What? No, don't bite my nose. All right, so we should sort these actually by size, I guess, before we do this. Whereas Pinto is going to have like a little banner day of like, here are things to eat. This is, uh, this, these two roots are like attached. But let me. <clears throat> so we can swishy, swishy, swishy some of these. Maybe we just take out the big ones that we can put in a bigger community pot plug tray. <clears throat> and we'll pack the little, that's my asthma acting up. I am allergic to Pinto. Pinto, no, don't, no, no, don't come eat these. See, this is what I thought would happen if I took them out. Pinto is going to try to eat these suckers. Don't eat them. You're totally blocking the camera. Move, move. All right, so these tiny little ones we can put in the little community pots or my pretend community pots here. Some of them are very small. <clears throat> Here, let me switch it this way so you guys can see. I'm putting them in. Now that Pinto's ass isn't blocking the camera anymore. Or, I'm totally getting problems with my hands. <clears throat> All right, then I have long grain moss. I'm gonna try to tuck it in here. I should really soak this probably down. Oh, 
because they're so small. <clears throat> trying, trying to get the moss in, like a little moss layer, like a little band of bits. There we have some. I'm gonna put some more little tiny ones in there. There's loads of these will live. There we go. <clears throat> I don't know which. Where do you think the root part is? Top, bottom. That's the bottom. Try to get that in. Oh, there's one part. That's two pieces. Maybe it'll sink in to the moss and perlite. I'm actually afraid of putting the little tiny orchids in with the tweezers because I'm afraid they'll squeeze too hard. So, normally I have really small hands, but right now I feel like I have really fat fingers. Just get it all in. Just try to put the smallest ones in this. It's supposed to make like little holes with your finger or with a stick and then stick the little plantlets in, but I'm just, they're so small. They're so small. Like, how can you actually put them in? My fingers are so wet. I'm not even gonna try to clean these little guys up. Let's see what else I got. There's over here. Just wanted a little bit more tucking space. Just tuck them in right there. The nice thing about the perlite is it's really loose, so when I do poke, Stuff goes right in. Yes, pin. Don't, don't eat any of the plants. I, I just remembered that I have plants there. Don't eat them, Pinto. Don't eat them. I know it's under my elbow. I'm going to take advantage. Uh oh, I'm going to run the room here. So I did two summers at the USDA in Beltville, Maryland. I have to say, I miss having both um, a clean hood and I miss having workspace that isn't infested with a cat. So, I have to say that I didn't work with orchids when I was with the USDA. I worked with duckweed. Which is very different. And also, rather than using solid agar for duckweed, you basically put them in a liquid. It's a lot easier to deal with them. I also had steadier hands. There we go, we're getting there. I'm just tucking them in. All right, maybe I can get this moss up there. Just gonna shove a bit of moss down on top. So I think, I think that's pretty good. That's one. Pinto, oh my gosh. Don't do it. Take my eye off of you for one second. So I took, I am taking the medium sized ones and putting them in another community pot. Hi, Cupid. This is the other black and white. This is actually my daughter's cat, not mine. Yes, yes. This is Dusty. All right, so 
So we're just putting all the medium, whatever medium, but the, not the, so we, we can't um, see the ones in this humidity pot here. And also stick some moss with my tweezers down in here to help keep everything moist. Yeah, I'm just wedging some of the moss in here, these slightly bigger pieces. Where did it stick from? I'm hoping to cover all the roots. I think that is all our medium ish size pieces. Alright, there we go. So, this is what I use for my plugs. I'm going to plug up some of these. So, the ones left are bigger than this, and I'm going to plug a bunch of these with moss. See how they do. No idea. These are all very loosely in here. All right, so in the end, I had um, I made two trays like this, and I made three little community pots, and I made one large community pot, and then I had two very big ones. I'm gonna actually just try to grow them in the air um, and see how they go. So I'm gonna treat these like adult pandas. These were the two biggest and the ones that I had trouble getting them out of the flask. So that's where we are after my first test deflasking with a hook, which I thought went really well. And then to keep Pinto from getting to these, um, I got, I'm gonna put them in this tray, and then I got this very large humidity dome. It's tall and it's vented so i can open up the vents to let the uh, air out or humidity out if it gets too moist it has three vents and this is how i'm going to try to keep pinto off of everything so there we go um just going to close out this video you can see pinto's trying to figure out some way to get to the orchids but he can't Haha, ha, I have a dome.